Hello guys, welcome back to the Pyjamas Adventures. Today I am playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. This will be a brand new series of the latest Pokemon game that is trending worldwide. So without further ado, let's get started. So I will choose English as my language. When never you see now saving on the screen, your progress is being automatically saved. You can disable save in the settings. Yep, we will disable that later. Ooh, so many red, so many lights. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. Ooh, I am that which humans call Arceus, or whatever. <laughs> Arceus, Arceus, or Arceus, whatever it is. Now I wish to note thine appearance. Ooh. Pretty ancient English. Yeah, I think I have yeah black hair with pear complexion at least. What is their name? Yeah, just like let's go Pikachu. I will name my character as Pijamas. Oops. Yes, pajamas. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Pajamas. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Okay, okay. So. Uh, we really need to catch all of the Pokemon before we can find the legendary Arceus again. Ooh. Oh, we wake up with t-shirt and shorts with our phone. I think our character is from the modern era. Ooh, shining lights. <coughs> shining lights. Ooh, there he is. Even just a silhouette. There he is. And our phone. What happened to our phone? Will our phone evolve? What's happening? Ooh, so many lights. Ooh. Totally lights. I mean, circle lights whatever Pokemon Legends Arceus and there's a loading bottom right as she's one wake up oh do wake up would you gee Syndic will roll it and also what are you a lab my boy oh that's the professor in this game. Yeah. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness, you seem unharmed. Who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell off that sky. You understand? Come on now, when the world does that? Did I fell from the sky? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. Mm. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Nope. Nowhere. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is proper pickled indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Ooh. Yep, 
there's three Pawn Mons there, aren't we? I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Crow! Foom! <laughs> Plish splash! Oh my! I completely forget it. I had just caught up to this tree run away Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, um, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Yep, of course I do. My, that's a relief though. You fell from the sky. It seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? Pajamas. Oh, so you're called Pajamas. The name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Nope, just sleeping clothes. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't been introduced myself. My name is Leventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as this tree here. And where are you going? Oh, blessing brother, my darling Pokemon, why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but but do you think you could help me around then? Not? I beg you. Okay, wait, you three, wait. So, we need to follow the three pawn man, so we can move. I'm not sure what's the difference of move and dash. Oh, there's something there. What is that? On the phone. There's a glowing beeping object over there. Let's check it. Rest it. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed it's change shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and they mission seek out all Pokemon. Arc phone. What number is that arc phone? Let's see, let's see. Three is this. Ah, this will be the save screen. Well, before that, let's remove the autosave in the settings. Uh, where's the auto save? And there it is. Save, disabled. Save and exit. Let's see, where are those three? Oh, we can move our camera view. Where are those three? The professor is there. Huh. Alas, yet another miss. Ah, oh, I'm glad you come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runways by tossing some pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see? I'd like to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about this tree first. Now that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. <laughs> that one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. is Oshawott. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott maps while floating on the water and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Okay, fish splash. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing, how to go about catching Pokemon. 
Here you are, bo my boy. Pokeballs, throw this at Pokemon to catch them. You obtained 50 Pokeballs. Wow, that's many. Mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Okay. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. That's where Powerballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see? Throw one of them at the Pokemon and... Why? The Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught the Pokemon. So they can go tiny and fit on the ball. What? You know, we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR button to ready a Pokeball and take aim. You can keep moving around as you do, so you use the right stick to adjust your angle and aim carefully at your target Pokemon. Release the ZR button to throw the Pokemon. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you've ready the Pokeball but do not want to throw it, press the B to cancel the throw, okay? Let's see. So first, let's go for Oshawa or Sindakwell since he's the nearest. Let's see. Oops. Let's try. Then we got Cyndaquil. Oh, wonderful! You've got the Pokemon. Seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business. Pajamas. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Yeah. Three little Pokemon. I am catching three little Pokemon. And all of them are cute. I'm not sure why I should be afraid to them. Oops. And we got also what? I can hardly believe it. Pajamas, incredible. You may, you know, my people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind, catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? Well, you're a little bit demanding now. Where's Rowlet? Where is Rowlet? Oh, it's on the sheets. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it's being. Ah, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. It's being tough. Powerballs are hardly 100% full prop. Give it another go, old boy. Old boy. And we got Rowlet. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they know you'd come falling. But I must say, Pyjamas, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. 
Well, the problem is you may have a problem on throwing Pokemons. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an art phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. When in the field goes such a catalog, a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a po person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? Yep, you've convinced me. Now my character is smiling. Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. Yeah, and there's a swirly cloud on that mountain. First thing first, let's go this poem. Let's get this poem on back to the village. Then we'll sort out our, our lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me. Then onward to Jubilee Village. So we're going to the Jubilee Village. What are you looking at? What is he looking at? Oh, he's looking at the swirly clouds on the mountain. Oh, it's already been 17 minutes. That was surprising. Thank you for your tireless work, keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. Yep, it's a slight Asian settlement in Japan oh there's so many people and this nobody noticed that swirly thing or in the mountain this way if you please Jubilee village it's come a long way to the fine people of the galactic expedition team this road were on now it's known to the local Suscan Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. So there's so much in me to it. I understand you must be more than a tad curious about it. Wait, as soon. Yeah, the text is very fast. I understand you must be tired. Now that the present up ahead, as is Galaxy Hall headquarters. Oh, so there was a Galaxy Hall. in the ancient jubilee city oh botheration i'd almost forgotten i need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escape pokemon might i ask you to wait for me at the canteen it's just past this bridge here then to the left the wall flower it's called okay oh, the phone is beeping your art phone is beeping somehow it seems to show where you need to go next is the button to be the map on your art phone you can consult the map for guidance to your next destination and formation on your next mission Use the button to be a map on your phone. You can swap the map of guidance to your next information on your missions and requests. You'll also see guidance markers when you're 
Oh, to exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions to try to stop one of these markers. Then head for it. Okay. So, we need to go to the canteen. Yep, there's a marker there. Oh, there's a guy here. Let's talk to him. Hmm. He, he looks uh, skeptic. Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsider. Move along. Yeah. Don't be sad. Who are you? I've never seen anyone. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be mincemeat in those flimsy, flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you met Professor Laventon. He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take to my bed. Wow. He take she take thunder shock but the professor well i do wonder how long he lasts unfortunately it's just as akari says i'm a clumsy sort of fellow to put it mildly professor but everything will be quite all right now pajamas here has agreed to help us with our power decks Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the survey corps? You can just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Selene's permission. I'll allow it. <coughs> Captain Selene! Assuming that individual can contribute it to the survey corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Selene. Well, you awfully look familiar. Professor Laventon has told me how you helped secure his spawn one when they slip his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm. You look to be fifteen or so. Quite old enough to work for your own for your keep, but we can simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow, we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh ho, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone so I might ex appreciate my meals without distraction. Ooh. Looks so tough. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter, the rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversations, then, eh? Benny old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Wonderful stop, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. Professor Laventon, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Oh, well, y you know of that great hole in the sky, the one people call the space-time rift. Ah, so sh they already noticed that that clouds in the sky. Our new friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with the facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are in the grass and forest, by water, wherever they like. Our job as the survey corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. 
It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where pyjamas will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We have a hard enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. Ah uh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well, and it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Surfer Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered 10 whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that power deck of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rain in the good captain's stress, eating soon enough. Now, have your feel, pajamas. And think, if you make it into the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. Well, I will take up for the challenge. Oh, she, she, he's smiling like there's no end. That was quite delicious, quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that pajamas was a trial to pass to join the Soviet Corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in pajamas' skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Pajamas was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Okay. But if you fail to pass the trial we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. Ooh. That sounds dark. Darker, it's darker than the any other Pokemon games in, in the get go. Captain Celine, somewhat like Captain Celine, somewhat like Hisui, in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts a, a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turn in for the night. Eh? It's a good thing one can fall out of fitons who sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. <laughs> and with that, I bid you both a good night. So, yes, good night. So we need to go to the quarters. And there's still the hole in the sky. A reef in the sky. People falling from it? The world is full of mysteries. Yep. Very, very mysterious. Oh, it's already, it's already 28 minutes. Ready. Let's go to the quarters. So here we are. Enter. Oh, it's quite nice. And, uh, and it's really look like all times in Japan. No seats, just table storage, uh, sliding doors. Uh, there's a pot in the middle if you fold that apart. Then there's the room, just a foot on. And anything else needed. <coughs> there's a notebook. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hisui region. To read them at any time, simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. Okay, let's try that. Handy tips for team members, don't wish your toys to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. To save your progress, press up button to open the menu, then scroll with the Z or ZR button until you reach the save screen. There's also an it to save function you can use to have your progress save automatically. You can enable or disable auto save by scrolling to the help secret screen in the menu then select settings. Okay. Try to go up. 
Then let's go to the save progress. Then what's the minus button for the arc phone? Oh, this is the map. And seem like sleep until morning. The photo new. Okay. Okay, let's sleep on the foot and now uh, rest. Oh, it's really rest until morning. Yes, tomorrow morning. It really is like old times Japan. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's something happening in the skies. Beethoven Bibarel. Oh, what's happening? Uh, what's that? What happened? The next day. Good morning, pajamas. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trials, so er, let's give it our all. Yep, let's go outside. Let's investigate for this. A nice find the sunken heart can help keep the entire room heated. Okay. Let's go outside. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you'd had a nice sleep, even if this land is strangely new to you. Let's get to the headquarters. Captain Celine is waiting. Okay, let's go there now. I'm just wearing shorts and t-shirt and sleepers. There's the headquarters. Let's go inside. Enter. Let's see. survey cars office are here on the first floor don't give up keep the, those eyes open the world pokemon they they were everywhere attacking from all sides i sent out my partner Pokemon, but got against a whole pack outnumbered this is what happens when you go so far afield but the medical corpse will put you to rights what is that that, that man's with the circuit security corps and even with his own partner he took a beating from wild Pokemon. without a partner or one of your own you might find this trial particularly trying okay so i need a pokemon somebody give me a pokemon <laughs> captain celine Paj pajamas is here you may enter so what should i do Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Field Dance and catching three different species of Pokemon Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. So we need to catch the first three easiest Pokemon. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Does this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. So we need to catch the first three, which is also, which is the first three in the gen 4 games Bidoof, Starly and Shinx. I will lend you one of our survey of satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Ooh, nice satchel. That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, mode of dress. Akari, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. The Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Okay. Press the Y button while consulting the map on your app, Arc Phone, and you can check the task you 
have waiting. There are two types, missions and requests. Mission must be completed to progress in your adventure, while requests are optional and given by people you meet. Pardon, pajamas. Come with me a moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Lovington? In order to complete our Pokedex and while simply surviving the unforgiving land, Pijamas absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just a ticket to help accomplish that. So we will get our partner Pokemon. First is Rowlet, then Syndacle, and then Oshawott. Go on Pijamas, pick the Pokemon that strike your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your own? Well, I already think about it. I was... It was really hard to choose. Well... Not really seen the quill. I just want to look at him. Not also Asha what? Actually I want to pick my partner from the Gen 7 games, which is Rowland. But first I will speak to Akari. No. I'll speak to you first. They're all so lovely. Oh. Nice advice. I think you will give me some sort of advice. But yeah, I will pick my Pokemon in the Gen 7 games, which is Rowlet. I really like water type Pokemon, but for now I will use Rowlet. Since I already use uh, Samurai a lot in the Gen 5 games, so I will choose Rowlet as my partner. Yes. See. And with that, one of the Pokemon you've got at the Prelude Beach for me will now be here's to keep, yours to keep. Good show! I've tucked Rowlet back inside its ball ball for you, so take it. It's yours! You receive Rowlet. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to the which power balls are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Foom! Flash! They look as if they're cheering on their friend Rowlet. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when pajamas fell out the sky. After all. Well, not. Don't worry, you too. I'll have you assist with me with my research for now. By the by, what species has Captain Sailing charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the obsidian field lands. Let me give you some power balls to use during your trial then. So give us 20 power balls. These power balls may be handcrafted, but they work a treat as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You have to leave the village of your trial, turn left after you exit the headquarters, then head for the gate. Okay, we need to go left after we go out here. Let's check our uh, arc phone first. So we have 20 power balls and we have Rowlet on our team. Then this is the settings. Let's save first. Mm, let's go out. Hmm. Also we can switch from this power ball to our Pokemon. Nice. I think we need to go there. <coughs> How the hell? Uh, 
Essa carne teleported in there. Let's see. Who is this guy? Looks like Volmer. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in the Zoe. Yeah, definitely. This is one of Volkner's ancestors. I've heard talk about you fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you have a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant success. So what do you say? How about you and I see our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Sounds good. I like you better and better. What a delight find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. I hope I <coughs> though I hope you know you you lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. So we will do a Pokemon battle with Volo. Wait. Oh, it's a Togepi. I was expecting an electric type Pokemon. Same as Volkner. Togepi versus Rowlet. And let's just fight. Gus. Hmm, he uses that out. Again, fight. Other Gus. Oh. Probably just a little bit tanky. Tankier than the, what I expected. So we won. Battle decided. Moves, items. Use them well and the world will open up to you. Okay, so. Rallet leveled up. And learn a new move. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they learn more moves and grow even stronger. Nice. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves and they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select the change move option. But so few people here have their own Pokeball. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. Thanks for healing my Pokemon. And to you, my sky fallen friend, I present some potions in thanks. Ooh, yeah. Thank you. You have obtained five potions. A topical medicine meant to be applied to Pokemon. It can be used to restore 60 HP to a single Pokemon. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful on the trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly after all. <coughs> nice, nice. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now, to the Obsidian Field Dance. Okay. When you're leaving Jubilee Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell rest the guardsman where you're going. The way so that way someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. Okay. So where should we go? Your pajamas, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. So, it, this is the oxygen field land, so we should go here. So first, our first trial will be catching Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. This is our base camp. The last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Yep. Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Oh, well, you see, 
Captain Selene got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I should bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guests. That's our unsparing captain. But what help exactly can you offer out here, professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Pajamas talents are the real deal. He'll pass the flying colors, you'll see. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me then. Well, I'm sure pajamas will fine. Let's begin the trial. Let's begin the trial. Yep, indeed. So, let's go to where Akari is. <laughs> this is Apparition Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. Ooh. Obsidian field dance. Oh, there's a Bidoof. And along comes a Bidoof. Bidoof. The key is to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice and just sharing what I know. Hold on this your button will and keep it on your side as long as it's nearby. This technique comes in very useful when aiming power balls to a target or when dodging Pokemon's attacks. Bidoof has a mellow disposition that means it tends not to run from people so this will be easy. Okay and Go to Akari first. Oh, he saw us. So we throw the first ball and we caught Bidoof. You caught a Bidoof! <laughs> Sorry. You caught a Bidoof! Well done! T time to find your next Pokemon. So this will be Starly. Let's go there. Oh, there's a Starly. <coughs> there's a Starly. There's a Starly. There's kittish little things. They'll run if you startle. They run if startled. Okay. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot. Okay, so we need to crouch. Press the B button to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. If you're creeping to the glass while crouch low, you'll be even harder for a po wild Pokemon to detect. Okay. So we need to crouch on this side. Oh. Did you notice me? And we throw a pawn. A pokeball. Okay. We caught another one again. That Starly caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. Let's go to where she is. I forgot. There's something I ought to teach you. Since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's powerball. As Captain Celine tell us, have an item at the ready but want to send out a Pokemon, press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready but want to throw an item, press X. The Captain's a real expert on these things. Okay. Try throwing your powerball at rocks or trees like this to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any bears or other items, it will bring them to you. Now it's time for your Pokemon to shine. We've reached our final hurdle catching a Shinx. Yep, let's try to do this. Oh, two iron berries. And it also have experience. So if your Pokemon Investigate, they will also have experience. 
There, that Shinx. Ooh, a cat with pants. <laughs> Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? Uh, more or less. I thought you might. I can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get a rate, they'll knock you aside any ball you throw at them. When you use the ZL button to focus on Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be got. The more arrows you see pointing up above a Pokemon, the easier will be to catch. The next icon will appear above Pokemon if it has picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Okay, don't worry. Though, I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. And once they're absorbed with battling, you can throw a Powerball at them to try to catch them. But now you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Powerballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. It's easy to start a battle against a wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Powerball that contains one of your own Pokemon at it. If you can see the two correct currently have an item ready to throw, not a Pokemon, press the X button. It will allow you to toggle between your thrown items and your Pokemon team. Okay. So where's the Shinx? Oh, there it is. Let's send out Rowlet. Yep, Rowlet. That's just his quick attack. Feisty little guy. Let's use the page. Ooh, that's a critical hit. Uh, let's use an item. Let's use a power ball. Ooh. Escape. One more. Let's try to throw one more. And we got Shinx. You approach those Pokemon without a hint of fear and cut, got each one. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete power dex as we've been ordered to. This is wonderful. I'm still curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did. But for now, let's tell the professor ready to, ready to head back. Okay. Oh ho, I said you'd pass the trial with fire iron colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, sweet Germans. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Oh, there's a photograph. <laughs> it's kill staggers. I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Saline. Time to head back to Jubilate Village, eh? Now it's a little bit comfortable that our character has expression. Not just smiling like a crazy ma a crazy criminal. And smi he can smile and can be shocked. In time, you'd be able to send Pokemon you've got to like live in the village pastures you can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field in theory though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so come now you two let's not dilly dally captain Selene awaits a report at the headquarters i bet captain Selene will be very pleased okay i hope so let's go to the headquarters Yep, 
Maybe we can save for now. Oh, let's save. Let's talk to Captain Sini. Seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations, you passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. You receive a Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sandals. Get changed in the room you used last night, then you're report at once to the third floor present yourself in uniform to our commander this is your first official order from your captain okay so we need to so we need to leave from here and change our uniform from the quarters Then I think we can finish the video once we have changed our uniform and we will proceed on the second on the next video after that so where's the uniform so corpse uniform sandals so corpse sandals yep Let's see. What is this? No, I will just use this one. Or black. Yep. Yep, we have changed our uniform. Let's save again. We change it to my your survey curves uniform. Wait, are you going to the building already look how well your survey cups uniform suits you it's almost as if the captain had till just for you i see you've changed regarding your accommodations you may continue to use the room you slept in last night you may wear this as well he gave us a cup Now present yourself to the commander. Yep. So yeah, we I will stop for here now. And next episode or next video we will go to the commander, Team Galaxy Commander. And that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed this new series, Pokemon Legends RCS, and continue to support and join us in this adventure. And see you on the next one. Goodbye.